Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be sharing a story with you. Our story begins with a middle-aged man in a suit, walking along a street, with a lot of stores around him. This mysterious suit man then walks into a local restaurant, causing everyone to look at him. But then everyone goes back to what they were doing. When the man closes the door and grabs a seat, the waitress comes towards him and asks him for his order, but the man doesn't respond. The waitress continues questioning him, but just then the man turns his head to the menu and immediately orders beef rice. Now while waiting for his meal, a drunk guy accidentally bumps into him, and the mysterious man doesn't react, with his meal being soon served. The man starts eating, but just a few seconds later, he calls out to the waitress for one bowl of pork rice. Well, that shocks her as she's taken aback at how fast he ate his meal. However, she acknowledges that order and asks the chef to cook it. Soon, the man's pork rice gets served and he begins eating. But once again, just after a few seconds, he orders another meal, chicken egg rice. Now everyone in this place is intrigued by this mysterious man. With his order still not being acknowledged by the waitress, the man calls out again for chicken egg rice. Well, that scared her and she quickly goes and gets the meal. Now, a few seconds later, the man finishes the bowl of rice, with everyone watching in awe. After his third meal, he looks at that menu again and orders salmon rice. Everyone around him asks him how he eats so much, but the man doesn't reply and continues ordering food. The waitress takes that empty bowl and asks the chef to cook some salmon rice. The chef's getting curious and also asks about this man, but the waitress is just as clueless as he is and quickly goes to deliver the man's order. Everyone watches him in silence as he eats his meal with lightning speed, including the chef. Again, this guy looks up and then orders some grilled fish rice and cracks his neck while he's waiting for it. After some time, a regular customer walks in and orders his usual, but the waitress tells him that they don't have time for him as everyone's engrossed by this mysterious man who is now on his 10th bowl of rice. They tell the customer that the man seems to be trying to eat the entire menu. Suddenly, the man orders the shrimp combo meal and the waitress immediately runs over to the chef. The customer quickly runs out and informs the town about this mysterious man's record. After gathering a bunch of people, they all go to the restaurant. With a crowd surrounding him, the waitress passes him his 13th meal, a ramen noodle dish. But this time, he doesn't eat it straight away. Instead, he puts his chopsticks down and takes off his glasses before he does this. Oh, everyone's getting excited now. It's getting pretty intense. With the chef wanting the rest, the mysterious man wants to keep going, and the chef starts cooking passionately while the man waits patiently. Now, in the late afternoon, a police officer happens to come across this commotion and starts questioning everybody about what's going on. So this university genius explains to the officer that the man is currently on his 18th dish, stir-fried noodles, and has spent a total of three hours and four minutes eating this, given an average of four minutes per dish, disregarding the waiting time. That impresses everyone, and a young girl even asks him for an autograph. After he finishes, the man adjusts his tie and excites everyone yet again. The man orders fried rice causing the chef to be annoyed at this point. However, he proceeds to cook this meal and serves it to him. Now on his second to last dish, the man proceeds to eat his rice with ease. But suddenly, a customer accidentally drops some chopsticks, interrupting his flow, and his stomach soon starts feeling uneasy. A woman sees this and quickly goes and gets some water. Thankfully, after he takes a sip, he gets his mojo back and continues his eating conquest, exciting everyone once again. But the chef in the kitchen isn't too happy about this, watching his rival intensively. As the man gets his last few bites of that fried rice, the waitress runs to the chef and voluntarily orders the last dish for the man. But the chef says that he'll start making that when he completely finishes the meal, causing the waitress to be awed by his manliness. Finally, the man finishes the meal and orders his final dish on the menu, curry rice. The chef fires up his pot, cooks it, and not long after, the meal gets delivered. He begins eating, taking his first bite, but suddenly he stops, causing everyone to be concerned. The man then swallows the food, smiles, and tells everyone the food is delicious, and carries on eating. Everyone cheers this guy on with the chef watching. After a minute, the man eats his final bite of the curry rice, and everyone cheers. The drunk man from before takes the chef out to congratulate him. The chef tells him that he had never cooked his entire menu for a single person before and thanks him for doing so. However, the man 
doesn't say anything and just smiles at him. He puts on his glasses and turns to the menu once again. The man then orders the first dish on the menu again. Beef rice. Shocking everyone. The movie ends with a broadcasting telling the people of Japan that the man is currently on his third round of the menu and has been eating for three days. Now this story begins with a homeless guy sleeping in front of a shop. Just then the shop owner opens for business and sees him there. Thinking this is bad for business, the owner splashes water on this homeless guy and chases him away in anger. However, the next day when he goes to open up his shop, he sees the homeless guy yet again and uses his broom to wake him up. Once he does, he screams at him and chases him out. In the following days, this hateful relationship continues, with the owner constantly chasing the homeless man on a daily basis, causing many passerbys to feel sorry for this homeless guy. However, one day, the owner opens up his business to the smell of piss at the front of his shop. He sees the homeless guy and immediately kicks him for peeing at the entrance. The homeless man quickly runs away in fear. After that fateful day, the owner doesn't see the homeless guy around anymore. This somehow causes him to feel bad, wondering where he's gone to. So one day, he decided to look at the CCTV footage to hopefully find out where he's gone. At home, he's scanning through the footage. And at first, he doesn't find much. Just footage of him chasing the man away. But when he moves on to the night hours, he sees the homeless guy keeping his shop clean at night. And on top of that, he helps chase away mischievous teenagers who had ideas of vandalizing his property. The owner got his shock when he saw a man peeing at his shop, which made him realize that he had wronged the other man earlier. But the owner's heart sank when he sees the homeless guy fighting off some robbers trying to break into his store. He sees the man get beaten down, and although hurt and bruised, the homeless man doesn't give up and continues to stop the thugs. However, he didn't know that the bad men were armed with knives, so they brutally murdered him and ran away. The homeless man passes away in front of his store, and the story ends with the owner crying. Now this next one is starting off with a man trying to get frisky with his date in a dark alley. And just as he's about to get his game on, a stray dog is barking at him fiercely. This causes both of them to get afraid, and the guy straight away tells his date that he's scared of dogs and goes to hide behind her. The girl then takes off her heels and throws them at the dog, but the animal doesn't go away. Failing to get rid of this thing, the girl takes out her fake chest implants and throws it, shocking her date. However, that doesn't help, so she goes to the water barrel behind her and starts washing her face. This makes her date curious, but he gets the shock of his life when the girl reveals that she's a man without her makeup. The girl then uses her manly presence, throws her wig at the dog, and successfully chases it away. The story ends with her date thanking her in shock. Our next story kicks off with a man in a moving truck, starting a new life in a brand new city. And as he's traveling to his new place, he notices a lot of beautiful women around and instantly gets all excited about this new town. The next day, he goes for his first day of class and immediately gets mesmerized by a pretty student. He gets his Riz game on and goes to approach her, hoping to get that number. But just then, she gets a phone call and starts speaking in a man's voice. That shocked our guy immediately, and his nightmare just began, because when the girl calls out to her friend, her friend too has a man's voice. Now he's noticing all the females in his class, including his female teacher, all speak with these manly voices. Out of fear, the guy runs out of class, hoping to find a girl with a normal voice. So he goes to this cafe, but the beautiful waitress that serves him, also, has a deep man's voice. He runs away again and ends up on the streets confused. Women are passing him that start asking him if he's alright, but their manly voices are really scaring him. But suddenly, he accidentally bumps into this less attractive girl and is relieved that she has a normal voice. Later, he takes the girl back to his place, and after they do the nasty, the girl's asking him why he chose her when there's so many beautiful women out there. He tells her that she was the only one that had a normal voice. The girl then tells him that her voice isn't as hoarse because she didn't go to the games. And for the guy's final shock, he realizes that all the beautiful women had lost their voices to a soccer game the night before. 